great night well, of Ladies fights. and gentlemen, it's time to rock and roll with our main event of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing in the flyweight division. Damas y caballeros, este es el combate estelar de esta noche. Ocho rounds en la división de peso mosca. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces. Carlos de la Rocha, Jesse Hernandez y Sergio Lechuga. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action. Su referee para este combate, Juan José Ramírez. Ahora bien, amigos que nos siguen a través de la señal de las redes sociales. Fight Hub TV, VIB The Best in Boxing y GSS Global Sports Streaming. Estamos en vivo desde el Foro Hayalai, desde la frontera más visitada del mundo. Tijuana, Baja California, México. ¡Ajusten sus cinturones! Introducing the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing red and blue, white. He officially weighs in 112 pounds. Presentando ustedes en esquina azul, con pantaloncillo en color rojo con blanco, con un peso de 112 libras. In 10 professional bouts, he stands with a perfect professional record of 10 victories, no defeats, and six of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record de 10 victorias, 0 derrotas, y 6 de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. El invicto de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Jorge Pajarito Pechalobos. And his opponent across the ring standing in the red corner. He wears red and black. He officially weighs in the same 112 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja con un vistiendo un pantaloncillo color rojo con negro con el peso idéntico de 112 libras. In 25 professional bouts, he stands with a near-perfect record of 24 victories, one lone defeat, and 17 of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record casi perfecto. 24 victorias, una derrota, y 17 de esas victorias por la vía rápida del cloroformo. El orgullo de la bella cenicienta del Pacífico, Ensenada, Baja California. Damas y caballeros, aquí está Ángel Diablito Ramos. And now the final instructions para dar las indicaciones Angel finales. Angel Diablito Ramos, Juan only José lost, Ramírez. has Eight been rounds. to the current world champion. Oh, of this division. Bonita, no How about that? Because they can fight the fight, they can fight together, they can fight together. I don't want the fouls, I want the clean fight. Suelte the two, I will bless you. And that's, you know, that's very well respected. You know, you have the consensus flyweight champion, Kasi Tanaka from Japan, 15-0, nine knockouts. You have the number two WBC Julio Cesar Martinez, who's probably within reach, coming out of Mexico. So R Ramos not not far away from from maybe maybe contending for a world title shot, considering he does have a good record. He has a good style, and according to you, Gerardo, he had the first full training camp of his entire career, and that's. Saying a lot considering he's 24 and 1. Definitely. So we're in treat we're in a treat for tonight. I am pretty sure that Angel's gonna be a top contender in the upcoming months, but tonight he has his opponent and he has to fully focus on Jorge Pajarito Villalobos. And, and Paja, what, what I did see about Pajarito, he likes to box. He likes to to come on come out on his back foot. Not typical from, from your from your Mexican fighter. He likes to box. As he as he continues to move laterally, throwing his jabs, trying to keep Ramos off of him. And that's good, Chris. That, that's what I would expect him to do with the, the 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 body that he has. He's tall, he's long, you know. And then you nice. have Diablito coming forward with that pressure and the power punches and going to the body as he should like you just said he, he's he's facing a, a longer puncher taller taller fighter in Villalobos 
And we're having really good action right now. But this is still a fill out round. A, a little high pace fill out. High pace fill out. Ooh. And a good uppercut landed by Villalobos. Might have been a little headbutt in there as well. They touch gloves acknowledging the headbutt. And it's very rare that we see two southpaws fight each other. But but we have it here. Two southpaws fighting each other. Boxer versus puncher as well. You know what? I would I would categorize Diablito Ramos more as a as a boxer puncher. Good combination. Villalobos Villa more of a boxer. But good style by Diablito Ramos. I, I like the style that he presents, you know. Um, like I said, we've seen him fight before. Um, his draw with title contender Dwayne Beeman. That was an excellent fight, you know. I think it was just with the draw. Corcas is doing, doing a good job at using the ring. He's keeping Diablito in the middle and moving around. He's a young fighter too. Yeah, good young fighter fighting off his back foot. But to tell you the truth, Dylan, right now, and to everyone at home, I think that Diablito Ramos is the stronger of the two fighters. As he, as he was pretty much pushing back via Lobos the entire round. Stronger, and he's shown his experience. Um, Jorge, Villalobos has 10 fights versus the 25 that Angel Diablito Ramos has. So that experience is definitely going to play a role here. It's going to be interesting to see how Jorge is going to adjust to the type of pressure that Diablito is putting on him. And, and it's smart pressure. He's like, he's moving his head as we see here. A quick clip. Back and forth action, as we can see on that on that replay. Yeah, back and forth. But but my point was the fact that that Diablito Ramos moves his head right in the center, evading shots as he continues to move forward. It's a good little boxer puncher style that he has. Tell you one thing: if I was uh, in Diablito's corner, I would I would tell him throw more body punches. Make him move less. Throw more body punches. Make oh. him, uh, make him slow the pace. Then go to the head and head hunt. I believe you're right because I think he had the most success when he went to the body, and, and you saw a couple body shots there. As he gets out of the way, and counters. I, I like it, man. This is a good style that that uh, that Ramos has. Nice. A good little one-two there. I like how Jorge is using the ring, moving around, sticking and moving, but I think he's going to have to sit down on those punches a little bit more and make Diablito respect the power that he has because right now, Diablito is just walking he's forward. He's walking he hasn't down, felt yeah. any, any sting, any pain, so he's not worried. That's a great point. That's a great point, Dylan. As we see, Diablito putting on the pressure, putting even more pressure, working the body, then going to the head. And now a little bit more activity from Villa Lobos. We start to see some swelling on the right eye of of Pacarito Villa Lobos, and I think he's complaining about a headbutt. And remember, guys, we had a headbutt about a minute ago where they both acknowledged and Angel's that, that, cut. that might be where that that little knot on Villa Lobos happened. They seem to be checking Diablito. I did not notice any cuts, but yeah, there, he's there cut. it is. There oh, it is. yeah, he's definitely cut. And look at Villalobos, who's also cut he's right also around cut. the same area. He's both swelled and cut. Swelled and, and cut. And I think it was a result of, of that body clash, was it not? Yeah, look, uh, I, I would think it was from the head, but <laughs> doesn't look good for Villalobos. Eh? It doesn't look, it is in a, bot, in, it's in a in bad a spot. It's in a very bad spot. Definitely. It's rolling right into the eyes. Uh, uh, Angel I, Ramos 
seems like it's a little bit off the eye. Right. But Villa Lobos, no bueno. I would hate to see this fight being stopped because of the damn cut. Good uh, uppercut. As a consequence of a head clash. I would hate that. Yeah, it'd be very upsetting if it happens. It seems though with the quick wipe down that they did on Villa Lobos, that the blood is gone. Now, both fighters have cuts. When your opponent has a cut, you start to focus on it. They both have it. <laughs> yeah. They both feel the urgency. Definitely. It seems like it seems like Ramos though feels a little bit more urgency going forward, throwing a little bit more shots and good, good uppercut by Villalobos there, right in between Angel's gloves. Got his attention, may not have hurt him, but got his attention. And good, good body shots landed there by Ramos. He had a fight uh, before, uh, after Duane's fight. Uh, I don't think he's fully. I don't think he is. Uh, the, maybe the, a little bit of ring rust. Is that where you're maybe, going? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. But there's a lot of fighting. Uh, there's still a lot of fighting to go. There's so. a lot of fight left. Um, but to go back to the ring rust, uh, maybe it just, because right there in the last 20 seconds or so, Ramos seemed to kind of pick up the pace. And it's only two rounds, man. It's only two rounds. It's an eight round fight. You gotta pace yourself. Um, he's most likely just kind of easing into the fight. And as a seasoned professional fighter with 26 professional bouts, you know, He's easing into the fight. Uh, so it may be ring rust or just the fact that he's taking his time. We have the head, pla the head clash. We have the, the instant replay right here. You can see that. Oh, that looks. Oh, that looks. That looks bad. That looks as a head clash. As we, as we take another quick look, and, and, and right there, and, and both fighters acknowledge that they right got there. hit. Instantly. And he, <laughs> one blames it on the other. <laughs> And as we start, as we start the round, a very special shout out and a big thank you to all our fans in Stockton and the surrounding cities in the California Central Valley. We appreciate all your love and support. We will be back soon. Toscano Boxing Promotions, bestinboxing.com. It's called Best in Boxing for a reason. And good little body shots landed there by Ramos. Porque not moving as much as he did on the, pre on the pre uh, previous rounds, is he? It, it doesn't seem that way, Gerardo. Uh, I, I believe, though, the main reason why is those body shots landed by Ramos. Oh Ramos, is, Ramos is throwing good shots to the body. Jorge was that with that combination uh, didn't seem to sit down on the punches a bit more, which is what he needs to do because the punches he was throwing before just Ooh, oh, and a good shot landed there by Ramos, and you're absolutely right there, Dylan, because Ramos just walks through those shots. He, he walks through those shots because Villalobos not sitting down on the shots and therefore can't keep Ramos off of him. Now, if Jorge Villalobos had the plan of touching, moving, touching, moving. Right now he's fallen into Diablito's game plan, which is sitting down and exchanging, where we know Diablito, you know, has the upper hand. He's throwing those harder punches, Chris. Yeah, and, and as we see, Jorge Pajarito Villalobos likes to counter. He's doing it, but, but not as effective, Ooh. and that was a good right hook by Ramos. As they're asking for the double jab, and he does it via Lobos. Nice work in the inside by Angel. And 
Ramos is throwing solid body shots and a hard hook to finish on the top of the head of Villalobos. Villalobos fights back hard. We have and fight this now. Fight, yeah, and this, fight is fight started, this fight is starting <laughs> to heat up, guys. Yes, Villalobos has tried to step back and throw that, that uh, left uppercut twice. Twice, so it, it looks like he's, he's waiting to counter him. Yeah, he noticed something, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. And, oh, Ooh. and a solid shot by Ramos, trying oh. to close out the run strong, and he does, landing two overhand lefts to the head of Villalobos. What a great way to finish that round, guys. Tell you what, those, those last 10 seconds, wow. Great it, exchange. It, it definitely stole the round for Ramos in my definitely. opinion. Definitely, yeah. You're right on point on that one, Chris. It's round four. This fight is going by quickly, you guys. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting sucked into the fight and the rounds are just going by. I could have sworn we were round two. I, I like the unorthodox pressure style um, of Angel Ramos. He's, he's honestly like a similar Southpaw style or Southpaw version of Manteca Medina, who we saw earlier today. taking the middle of the ring. He should work out his jab more and more. There he goes, double jab. Trying to keep uh, Angel from hooking him to the body. And now we see Villalobos stepping forward for the first time in the, in the fight, which is not something that, that, that is a custom of his. I wonder if that was something they told him in the corner, in the right. corner, put a little bit more pressure. Because you have to think, you know. Um, I I know Ensenada is not too far, 45 minutes away, maybe um, 30 minutes if you drive like Dylan. Um, Jorge Pajarito Villalobos from Guadalajara, man. So so that's the that's the visitor today, you know. That know, that I, reminds me, Chris. Dylan, it is that time of the night. The Chalupa meter. The Chalupa the meter. The Chalupa meter is back, and I'm giving this fight 333 Chalupas. I'm still very confused on the Chalupa hey man, meter. Hey, how is the scoring We're, being yeah. done? Dude, chalupas, chalupas? It's whatever are, Gerardo it's wants. Whatever. It's whatever it's he wants. Thing. People say Chalupas. A chalupa is a good thing. If I'm, you have a chalupa, I'm switching back to Chris's team, man. I, I'm yeah, not, yeah. I, I've yet not seen in my whole life a man with a Very chalupa rare. in his hand be feeling sad. Very rare, Dylan, that I want you on my team, but I want you on my <laughs> team right now in this case. As, as Ramos goes back to the body, a little bit of a sense of urgency from Villa Lobos. Once again, charging forward. Not what he was doing in the first three rounds. And Good he's being successful with it, Chris. He's being smart with the pressure. And we talked about at the top of the telecast about Angel Ramos' first time making a, a complete training camp. No interruptions, no side job, just focusing here. Yeah, and now he has a promoter. For and now he has a promoter, yeah, yes. Definitely. It's, it's, it's a fun fact, 24 fights, 24 wins, one defeat, how do you get that far in your career without having a promoter? Being that's that's how good Angel Ramos is. Being talented, that, that, that was going to be my answer, you took it out, out of my mouth. <laughs> Being talented, um, he's a good fighter man, you guys see it here. T take nothing from Jorge Pajarito Villalobos, who is doing his work. You know, he's an undefeated fighter, 10-0. The hardest thing to go is that, oh, 
We say it all the time, major cliche in boxing, but it's absolutely true. You know, and as the rounds progress, Diablito's still putting on that pressure, but Villalobos is starting to look more intelligent in there, and he's starting to find a pace. Yeah, so, so going back to the fact that, yeah, the hardest thing to go is that oh, So he's, he's adjusting, as we can see here in the replay. Good exchange there, changing levels, right? We didn't see too much of the adjustment that, that I had in mind, but uh, he blocked the shots coming from Ramos and he's staying in the pocket. So quick Spanish lesson here. Pajarito translates little bird. I am not seeing a little bird in Jorge Villalobos. They should change his name, perhaps Eagle. Something better than little bird. He's got the eagle powers. Damn right. Nacho Libre would say. <laughs> Nacho! Nice exchange. Both connected punches. And, and, and just now, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of frustration in, since the game change in the last round by Villalobos. I'm seeing a little bit of frustration in Ramos, um, unable to get to his opponent as he was in the first three rounds. I agree because you know what? Now Villalobos, he's landing some shots. Oh, Ooh. and a hard shot by Ramos kind of puts an end to what we were saying as he slips in the corner. There's a little bit of water in the corner there and he's, and he's getting moved back there again. And he escapes from the corner. In my opinion, that, that is what Angel has to do. Force the interchange. Force the action, force the pace, keep the pressure on, keep it. It doesn't matter if you uh, eat a couple punches here and there, force the pace, try to exchange uh, punches because most likely Angel is going to get the better of them. Yeah, good point, Gerardo. It, it seems like that's the flow of the fight and a good one too there by Ramos. Nice uppercut. Not much of a response yet from Villalobos. Yeah, like he, he looks so good in that, or not so good, it was just his best round in the fourth round. We thought he was making a comeback. Ramos is kind of taking that, that, that slack back. Stealing his thunder. And good combination good, by yeah, Villalobos though. And a good one too by Villalobos. And you see him using that feint, making, him, making Diablito jump in. Good hook there by Villalobos. Making it a little bit tighter here in the final minute. Good jab of Villalobos. Whoa, a little bit of entanglement there. They had that Jada, no Jada pun, it. No pun with Will Smith and, and Jada Smith. Absolutely no pun. I kind of feel like Angel's pace is most it's slowing down a little bit. I wonder if it. I wonder if he's uh, expecting something bigger or exchanging, uh, trying to exchange punches as we uh, end round number five. I see him chipping away at Villalobos, just using his experience, you know, just touching him, touching him, touching him. And the, the truth is, it gets to you. Little by little, that that pressure will continue. The and style that Villalobo to. has too is, is is tiring. He's constantly in, out, in, out using yeah. the ring while Villalobos can sit down and stay in the middle and just sit on those power punches. So Good the pressure point. is is on uh, Villalobos. Good point. That's what it is. As we take a look at Angel's corner, how uh, his trainer is help, helping him putting on some grease telling him instructions. What would be the best strategy, guys? What would be the best adjustment that Diablito could do? As we see the replay and we see the exchange of punches as Pajarito is trapped into the ropes. 
What, what, what strategy, what adjustments should, should Diablito uh, do right now, Chris? I, I believe he, he should just simply turn it up a gear. He, he's doing exactly what, what is asked of him, you know, by his corner. That's what he needs to continue to do. But just step it up a little bit. G give him a gear up. Give him a gear up. Put it, put it into fifth gear. Diablito right now, he's doing a good job at putting on the pressure, but he is chasing Villalobos, and what I would like to see him use is um, cutting the ring. You know, put him in those corners. He's throwing power punches, man. If he puts him in a corner, doesn't let him, doesn't let him out, he's going to hurt him. He could end the fight there. That yeah. makes a lot of sense, Dylan. That's hopefully the, the corner there uh, will hear you. <laughs> Yeah, because you see him walking around instead of cutting off the ring. And Villalobos is doing a good job at evading. Yeah, right now Villalobos is doing a, a good job of boxing. He's, he's doing well. In the first minute of this round, we'll see how long he can do it for. And now Diablito has been throwing those power punches. So that's going to get him tired. You know, and um, we were talking about the Ooh. layoff. And he catches him there with the right hook. Ooh, and another body shot. We can hear those guys, considering there's no audience, we hear the thuds. And those last two shots by, by Ramos were pretty hard to the body. You see how smart Villalobos is playing it right now? Because he's jumping in, jumping out, jab, jab, point, points. I like it, man. Yeah, I mean, he, he's doing the right thing, you know. Um, yeah, winning, he, winning the round, maybe. It, yeah, man, it's a, it's a difficult fight to score now. Yeah, that one's going to be on the judges. That was a good um, two-punch combination by, by Diablitos. But so far, the action is Villalobos. Here you go, hit, well, hit. Well, move. here's the thing, he, he's just moving a lot. I don't see a lot of shots landed by Villalobos. The harder and telling shots have been landed by, by Ramos in this round. But not as often, and that's, that's where the judges' um, own bias comes in. You guys are having a great discussion. So who you rather be, right? Uh, the guy who's uh, moving, uh, having a great performance, they're talking about sidestepping and uh, ring general chip or the one who's throwing punches and being aggressive. So this is a good discussion to have. Definitely I wouldn't want to be a judge on this one. All I have to say is we still have rounds to go. It's still a young fight and you know what? One shot can make this whole thing end. Yeah, just like it did in the, in the, in the last fight. Definitely. Um, but, but here's the thing. This, this is the point I want to make. For everybody at home, Villalobos walking back, in, in a sense running back, um, who would you rather be, the guy going uphill in Villalobos or the guy going downhill in Ramos? It's much easier to go downhill going forward in a boxing fight than it is to go backwards like Villalobos is. And he's not landing a lot of telling blows is Villalobos. He's not landing those hard punches like Diablito but he is still landing and he's still getting points on those on those scorecards. Now, um, I want everybody at home to think about um, Anthony Joshua versus Anthony Reese. When he came back in that rematch, he boxed him intelligent. Yeah. He was sticking and moving. Yes, that's what he did. He, he, did, a, he did a fantastic job, did a Joshua over Reese. I don't think, I don't, I don't think it, I don't think I see the same thing here though in Villalobos. I think Villalobos Villalobos is getting tagged by Ramos throughout throughout the whole fight. And on that note, everyone, this is uh, why when you get into boxing, they say do not leave it up to the judges because you never know. Everybody, every uh, judge has their own bias as how boxing should be. And you get three different angles. You get three different angles from the ring. Uh, three different judges. Hard to score, guys. Hard to score. I have to say something. It's like way different. It's a whole other planet watching the fight. Uh, 
right here from where we are standing, which is just a couple of yards away from the ring, from the judge's corner, or even you guys with all the instant replays and the several angles that we have with this streaming. So it, it, it really is a matter of appreciation and hopefully you guys are having uh, this treat as we are doing so tonight. And as you were talking, Gerardo, Diablito seems to, to be coming on in this round, la landing a little bit harder shots now as opposed to last round where, where he really didn't find them. Even though I still gave him the round, last round to Diablito Ramos, he didn't do much last round, but he's doing a little bit more this round, making Villalobos work harder off that back foot. And he is working hard because Diablito puts him close to the corner, but he manages to escape every time. And that's where Diablito needs to step to the other side and faints and faints and not let him know which way he's going to come in. But right now, I think that the one who is inflicting more damage is definitely Diablito Ramos. Won't you say that, guys? For this round, yes, I, I would agree with you. Like I mentioned before, that style that Villalobos has is tiring. You're constantly jumping in and out, in and out. Hit, move, hit, move. It's beautiful to watch. This is uh, what what boxing is, you know, yeah, hit man. and don't get hit. Back and forth, you know, like I'm trying to catch you, Tom and Jerry type stuff. Another head, head clash, clash again. Another yeah. head boy. Ooh. That cut, Jesus. Ooh, that cut. Oh, this man. one is bad. It's oh, right man. on the eye. That one looks... Uh, you know what, guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, goodness. I think... I don't want to jinx it, but... Nah. This, I, I that, won't do it. Uh, that should be it. Yeah. That's a very bad one right above the eyelid. Heading right into the eye. That is a tough one. And, and what a shame if this is this is the, the case, oh, which it seems like it's going to be because... That's a very oh, bad cut, that's guys. A very that's a bad very bad cut. On the very bad spot. That's not going to stop. Oh. And it's moments like this where you have to think about the future of Villalobos. He's a young fighter, man. He was doing a really good job. He, I, he, I would, was uh, doing, he, was, he was making a valiant effort. In, in, in a closely contested fight, which I think the truth he was losing, and if it, it's gonna go to the scorecards, he he will most likely lose this decision. That is a sick. Cut. But they're stopping the blood, and and they're gonna continue. Whoa. Is that oh, it? Look like it? No, it looks no. like it's done. So, so we can't really hear under the mask of the referee. He did not wave his arms. Um, this will be a technical decision. So we await the judges' scorecards, and I believe we're going to score that round because the bell rang, so you have to score that round. Correct? Correct, Chris. I'm, I'm staring at the cut. That's it's a pretty gnarly cut. That, yeah, that's a pretty pretty tough cut right there but you hit the nail on the head Dylan with what you say uh, regarding you have to think about uh, Jorge Pajarito Villalobos he is a promise he showcased a lot of talent a lot of high-level boxing so yeah you should really take into consideration that hey he's a young fighter take care of him and and, and, and leave to fight another day right he said hey. no he's 20 years old you know he has a lot more boxing to do it's a shame that our main event ends like this. It was starting to heat up. Good fight, man, good fight. As we await the decision, Chris, Huge thank you to Toscano Boxing for these fights. Thank you everybody at home for tuning in. To everybody watching us around the globe, we can actually say that Dylan, everybody watching us around the globe, 
Uh, we had viewers from Nigeria. We had viewers from Australia. We had viewers from Stockton, California, who are disappointed with no Stockton slaps in tonight's broadcast. Zero Stockton slaps. That's right. So thank you to all of our fans everywhere. You know, we appreciate all your love and support. In return, our goal is to provide top quality competitive fights here, man. There's there's no cherry picking here. And that's, um, it, sometimes unfortunately, it ends up with decisions like this, where the fights have to be stopped. The fighters are going to injure each other. But hey, it's competitive. competitive this is fights. top quality boxing. I, I like what you said. Uh, no cherry picking uh, for any of the fighters under the banner of Toscano Boxing Promotions. Guys, this was a good card. These were good matchups. Uh, we hope the viewers at home appreciate the, the competition level presented by Toscano Boxing Promotions and bestinboxing.com. Guys, more to come from these two entities. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. As we get ready for the official decision from Pablo Flores. And ladies and gentlemen, an accidental headbutt forces the referee to stop this contest. Therefore, we're going to go to a technical decision. Damas y caballeros, un cabezazo accidental entre ambos pugilistas obliga al referee a detener las acciones. Por lo tanto, nos vamos con las tarjetas de los jueces. Juez. Judge Jesse Hernandez scores it 70 to 63, 70 a 63. And both judges, Sergio Lechuga y Carlos de la Rocha, they have the same scores of 69 to 64. 69 a 64 is those dos últimos jueces. Therefore, your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision, su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime, Ensenada, Baja California, El Diablito. Angel Ramos. And what we thought we saw. Y también reconocimiento para su rival de Guadalajara, Jalisco, para el pajarito Jorge Villalobos. What we 